Hi everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, I'm gonna show you my pocket rings that I use for studying. And I've been using this and it's been working and I'm excited to pull this out pretty much a couple times a week and just work on a couple of things that I'm studying. So I had one of the Maldens, the Filofax Maldens, and the rings are pretty small. And I love this thing, but I think I'm gonna end up selling it because I don't really need numerous pockets. I don't ever foresee myself going back into them. And then I have a gray smart fee, which I also tried to use. And the rings, they're like 20 millimeter rings on both. And so much pockets, a back pocket on both of them and everything. So probably gonna sell that. I'll probably post it on the community page or, um, what was I gonna say? Or Instagram. but. That's not why we're here, but I wanted to let you know that I tried these and I grew out of them. And so uh, I'm gonna set those aside and I ordered a um, Moterm and I think this is in the burgundy and I love it. I love, love, love it. Here's Here it is against white. It is beautiful. I'm not really, in, man, those full grain leather ones, they intrigue me, but when I can get one of these for way cheaper and super fast, and if it's junk or the rings are goofy, I can return it to Amazon. I'm all for that. So I'm going to link it below. So what I do in this uh, in this rings is I study, uh, I've been studying football so that I'm way more uh, schooled on the calls that are played, on the plays that are called and the penalties and the flags. And also the, uh, and I'll get into this, I'll sh and then the players and the positions and things like that. So this Moterm, we're not really going to go over it, but it is really, really nice. I mean, it's almost too much, but I am absolutely a, uh, I had already had this set up and it worked for me. I just needed bigger rings. So these are 30 millimeter rings. And here I keep some notes that I need to copy down in here. In the back pocket, I keep the paper that I'm using for uh, the football section and then the paper that I'm using for the Spanish section. So uh, I also love that it has a fly leaf with a pen loop, you guys. This is one of the things that I struggled with in the Filofax and the Smart Fee was, or yeah, Smart Fee. I just want to make sure I call that correctly. And I got that, I got this on Amazon too, and it was like $25. So I'll link it. And they just kind of cycle in and out their colors. Um, that's the gray. I don't know if it's in stock right now, but I'll link. Um, the Filofax Malden is beautiful and it's, but it's, you guys, it's super expensive. I will link this below and I will link this below, but this one was, I can't remember what I paid for it, but what I loved about it was the fly leaf with the extra pen loop because I do use a highlighter or a colored marker and then also a pen. So I've got a little dashboard here I got a long time ago. I have little uh, Foxy Fix pocket rings um, dashboards that I put a little affirmation card in there. And then what I did was, I'm gonna get a glare, I took the stamp from Desk Gems, I think that's the name of the shop, and I bought this, I loved it, and I, I really had no plans for it. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute, I can totally use this in my study rings because every time that I study, I get to take my um, color dot and mark out the day. And honestly, you guys, that motivates me, it really does. And so I, because no time like the present to start that, this is December of 2022. And then I just stamped out on index cards. These are just basic uh, three by five index cards that I get at the, at the um, dollar store, okay? That's all that I use, nothing fancy. And I love it because they fit in the pocket rings. And so I also slit so that I can get it in and out, kind of like a happy planner type thing. So these are, this is the stamp, and I stamped out the entire year of 2023 so that I could stay motivated, okay? And these are just old month uh, stickers that I had. I think they were from Dilutions, Ranger Inc. And I may or may not put some stickers down. I have these, and I'm gonna, 
I just thought I just need a little something, a little, little something there, and I like that. I think that looks pretty. So I may or may not decorate this further when I decide to. Sometimes I get really exhausted with decision fatigue when I'm setting up a planner. Even though I was already using this, there were other things that I needed to tweak and set up, such as the dashboards. I didn't want to buy um, or use dividers because I didn't need six of them or however many come with the pocket rings. I just needed three, and so I decided to just make my own. So I just took colored cardstock, and I just um, made it double-sided. Then I took these Avery tabs and I just created a label and I put it on either side so that no matter where this is open, I can see from front or back the section that it's on. And these are just, I'll, I got these on Amazon, I'll link them below, but I like them. They just, they just, I just created my own top tab system. I do not, with my dashboards that are laminated, I do not slit them the way I do the paper or the cards because those I want to stay in place and they traditionally don't really get moved. So what I've been doing is, when I've been studying football, um, here's the offensive line, the offensive lineman. I always write on the right side of the page uh, in rings because I don't want to battle being right-handed and have the rings bang up to my hand. And this has really freed me to enjoy rings of any size. So I've been making notes on the paper really having fun you guys uh learning this and then i make like study cards uh, flash cards i don't know flash cards study cards so i take the index cards and then i just do it landscape like this and i seem to always be turning it like this and um so what i did was i took the offensive line and i drew out where each player was and it's been working i'm learning and um, so I did the same thing with the defensive line. And I just, you guys, I just looked it up on YouTube and started studying it. And then there's the defensive line. And then here, I got confused because Google said fantasy NFL. Um, these were the abbreviations. And I thought, well, I don't wanna learn fantasy. And then my son's like, no, they're the same. And I'm like, okay. I showed him my, <laughs> I showed him this and he just, he just gave me a side eye like, okay, ma. And I'm like, whatever, anything, an excuse to have a, have a different planner. <laughs> so I have some extra. So then I'm going to study and learn all the names of the Steelers offensive line. Yes. I'm going to be so, I'm going to sound so smart, you guys. All right. So, um, and so then I just have extra pages already uh, slit the slits made ready to go and then if I run out I've got some in the back pocket there so then I just have a jelly dashboard I bought this on Amazon and I will I'll link that I'll link everything I can and then another dashboard with another um, affirmation card just to kind of pump me up and then here's another dashboard and it's Spanish and I'm going to start long handing out the words that I study in sentences as I've done before and I was talking to Sarah Martinez and I was like man I am just the biggest loser with uh, learning Spanish I said I just don't get why I'm so lazy about it I've been at it for years and years and she finally said well do you even want to learn it and I, I really had to take like a moment and go I don't know Obviously, I'm not very motivated. So this has really helped me to stay newly motivated. So I just, um, I've shown this before where I just use a marker and then just make it fun to look at and baño and then bathroom. So I have the Spanish here and the English here and I just keep it really simple and I just add words as I feel like I'm ready. And then this is a dashboard I bought from an Etsy shop a long time ago. And I just, it just says, uh, just stuff. But I think, I think I'm going to take that out. I don't want that in there. Yeah. Nah, maybe I will. I'll just leave it in there. And I just created another of the plaid dashboards. And then back here, I just have blank index cards ready, punched 
the corners rounded, which I use my corner rounder. You guys know I love this thing. And um, if you're the one that recommended this to me like a year and a half ago, raise your hand and comment below because I'd like to officially thank you for recommending this because this is the best thing ever. And I, I, I'm constantly saying that. So then I have another Foxy Fix dashboard that just has some, it's double-sided and it just has some affirmation cards. And then this is just kind of a, a sleeve I picked up somewhere. I'm not even sure. Now this I don't need in there. What do I need that in there for? I don't, I'm not really going to put, maybe, okay, I'm being fickle. I think that would be a great place to keep just some really fun study stickers. So I might do that if I ever get any. I'll keep that in there. And then a page lifter. And then I have more, um, more Spanish words here. So I'll have the Spanish notes and stuff here and then the football stuff here. And when I'm done learning football, um, then maybe I'll move on to something else. So that is my study pocket rings. And like I said, it's really been working so well for me. And I, I've just been really enjoying this a lot. And I forgot to say an official thank you to Nessie from Teachers Nessie Pl Plans. I'll link her channel below. Her and I have been chatting infrequently on Instagram. She always shows these veggie tan uh, mo terms and I asked her on Instagram well, what do you think do you like and she got into the pocket rings and and Elvira had ordered this and didn't like it because the rings were too big but um, she said no 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 I love it so much so she helped me she helped me um, get motivated to order this because it had bigger rings so all right so thank you Nessie all right so I want to thank everybody for watching I hope that this helps you get some ideas I'm going to actually have an Ollie clip right here that matches. Nope, that looks ugly. <laughs> nope, I don't like it. I want to be part of the group, but I, and I have a number of these, but I, I just can't. I don't know. Um, all right, so I hope that this uh, helped you get some ideas. If you're trying to study something and you need to break it down, this is a great way to do it, especially with flashcards. Just get yourself some basic index cards and go for it. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and always enjoy today. Bye, everybody. Bye.